Yo, what's up everybody, back again with another custom. Today we'll be making DJ, so let's get started. Alright, we won't be needing that gun. Actually, we change the voice to a male voice. Alright, now let's get down to the design. So, for the headpiece I went with is custom head number uh, 6, no, not 28, 16 right here. We're gonna make it this color. For the eyebrows color, you're gonna make them black. Uh, for the hair piece, you can go with, uh, let's see, this hair piece right here, which is the same hair piece I used for Zangief. Uh, yeah, I know he does have that ponytail egg design, but I can't find any hair, any other hair piece that looks like this and with the ponytail as well, so I'm just gonna go with this, just go with the short mohawk instead. Alright, so for the arms, you can make a skin tone. For the hands, you can make them orange for the gloves. <laughs> for the torso piece, you can go to custom body number four. And then you're gonna make them the skin tone. And for the second color, you're gonna make it dark brown. And for the hip piece, uh, you can make it orange. For the leg piece, I was originally gonna go with boots, like, like make the first color orange and the second color. Uh, the skin tone because he does have bare feet exposed, but it just looks like he's wearing shorts and rather than pants. So, but I didn't. I mean, I also also tried to go with just blank, like just a solid orange color, but it just looks kind of bland. So what I did instead is I uh, go ahead with the copper head, uh, the the copper head leg piece, and then make it an orange. That way, it has a little bit of detail because he does have some detail like on the sides of his pants. Like I know it says maximum, and I know there's obviously not gonna be. Uh, like piece that says maximum, but at least there's something right here. So yeah, so I mean, you don't you don't have to go with this if you don't want to, but it's just sad to add a little bit more detail. All right, so now on to the effects. So we don't need a left hand glow or a right hand glow, but for the hidden pack, I guess we'll make it this color right here. And for the jump sound effect, I'll just make it black. Alright, so, oh, we don't need glow, definitely not, uh, I don't think we need anything here, I'm not gonna give him double jump, can't do that, so, for, uh, tap square, uh, it's, he does throw a projectile, but I'm not sure how to, imp like, how to, like, improvise it into the game, like, it's kind of, kind of similar to, like, Gaio Sonic Boom, but I just don't know how to, like, put it into the game, cause, like, if I, cause I, you know, I could just use both, but they just look all, like, fireballs, you know, and all that, I guess we, yeah, I guess we could do that. But I, need to, but I forgot what the color looks like for the projectile he throws, so. I'm just gonna guess it's this color then. I guess we'll go with. Yeah, we'll go with this one. I mean, he doesn't throw in both hands, he's just like throwing one of his hands, so I'm just gonna go with like this. Okay, the heat damage type. And for hold square, we're gonna give him a lunge. It's down number two. Alright, we're not gonna be needing detect the mode. Alright, let's see. We're not gonna be needing any of this. Hold square, okay, what do we got? We don't need drone axes, we already got lunge. We don't need a boomer, we don't need explosion type, we don't need a beam. Destroy mode, maybe? Yeah, I guess we'll go destroy mode. Alright, so we don't need a grapple, we don't need technology, uh, acrobat, and I don't think that's his style since the wall time. I don't think any of those really fits uh, EJ, so we're not gonna give him anything for skills. Okay, personality, health icon, uh, I'll go with, uh, is there an orange? Uh, yes, there is. Standard health, uh, I'll go with enchantress. Animation. I guess we'll go with cool. Uh, shit. Let me change the like the eyeshadow color uh, or the wrinkle to, to this, this skin tone because we don't want to be seeing that. Alright, yeah, it's not visible anymore. You don't need any weapons, and so all you gotta do is just name him. I believe DJ is two words. Yes, it is.
All right, here's my custom DJ from Street Fighter. So we got that square for the projectile he throws. Like, like when you hold back, then you release it, pressing a bunch, bunch of just like the guy with Sang Goon. Like that one move where he says "max out." Yeah, that's what it's supposed to act like. And then you got hold square for the lunge ability. And this actually acts like the kicks he does. Like when you like hold back and then press forward and then any kick button. That's even kick. So yeah, that's what this move is supposed to improvise right here. And got whole square for the destroy mode, but I don't know what this move is supposed to improvise. I guess the move where he like punches like up in the air. Like you know, you hold down and then for three seconds you press up and then any punch up he does like a rapid punch, so I think that that one. So yeah, this is my custom take on DJ from Street Fighter. So he first appeared in Super Street Fighter 2, and then he came back in Street Fighter 6. With a newer design, of course. And he was also in Street Fighter 4. And Street Fighter Alpha 3, but the Max version, not the Vendemo version, though. Yeah, I don't know why did they not include the Max version on the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. They should have included that. But oh, but oh well. Since I forgot. There's this one thing that DJ likes, so let's see, where's Hardy? Alright, let's play a song. Okay, I don't get copyright on skin, I can play for that long. Alright, since DJ, yeah, DJ likes music, so. DJ likes music, so I'm gonna let Hardy play a song, doesn't matter. There you go. I can't play for that long because I'm gonna copyright it, so yeah, there you go. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!